Let's take a look at how we find the greatest common factor, the GCF, for 8 and 20. So the GCF, it's also called sometimes the greatest common divisor and the highest common factor. These are all the same thing. I like greatest common factor, the GCF, so we'll go with that. So what we do, we find the factors of 8 and 32, look for the factors in common, and then just select the greatest one. So for 8, 1 times 8, that equals 8. 2 times 4, that would equal 8, but those are the factors for 8. For 32, we have 1 times 32, 2 times 16, 4 times 8, and I think that's it. These are the factors for 32. So we have our factors. Let's look at the common factors. 1 goes into 8 and 32. 2, that goes into 8 and 32 evenly. 4, yep, common factor, but 8. 8 is the greatest common factor between 8 and 32. So in answer to our question, the GCF for 8 and 32, that is 8. You can use other methods like prime factorization to do this, but unless you have big numbers, this works really well. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.